Hey folks, welcome back to another video. If I look a bit hot and sweaty, it's because I am hot and sweaty. Uh, I've just walked into this uh, bouldering spot here, never been to it before. Uh, typical bouldering cave that is a little bit uh, sort of damp and dank in the back, but it looks like it's going to climb really nicely and the holds are bone dry, so that's nice. Um, well, that might not look the most amazing bit of climbing, uh, you know, location wise. When you spin around, you'll see it's flipping lush. Look at it. Right lakeside, beautiful views. This is Gwinnett, this is. Amazing, isn't it? Boy's happy. Oh, he's wandered off over there somewhere. Now he's happy to go for a swim, can't he? Look, it's amazing, though, isn't it? My car is just over there. The reason I'm a bit of a sweaty mess at the moment is because I was too tight to pay for the parking at the campsite. Uh, I thought it was going to be about fiver, but actually when I walked through it, it was, I think it was a pound. So uh, if you're ever coming here, spend the pound. It's well worth it to save half the walk in, really. Um, the project uh, for me for today, hopefully it won't be too much for a project. It will go down quite quick. Uh, Elephantitis, which is a 7A, uh, might be quite cheeky for a 7A. I've watched a little video of it to get the beta, so hopefully that'll give me a head start. Um, but I'm sure I'll film it in a second and waffle on about it a bit more uh, momentarily. <laughs> Ah, well, that felt a little bit more of a fight than I was expecting. At 7A, I kind of was half hoping to flash it, but not super expecting, because I just haven't done very much bouldering at all recently. It's a lot steeper than I was expecting from the photos, but uh, perhaps a lot of that suited me. It's that penultimate move that you've seen in the video by now. Uh, it's a big move, which uh, I'm just not so good at them. Um, I felt a bit bunched up on the feet, maybe that's because I'm tall, uh, but when you do stick it, you're just not letting go, although it's slopey, it's dead grippy, and then you match it and sort of go into the, a finishing rail, it's great. Such good moves right from the very start. Um, it sort of starts by going fairly steeply, but on very good feet and really good hands. A big move um, that uh, that was okay, managed to hit that first time without going into intermediate, uh, and then sort of bump into these things, do your little moves, and, and off you go. Such a good route. If you get a chance to come and do it, uh, you really should flip and get on it. It's so good, and it's just made better by the scenery that's surrounding us as well. There's been no one else here today, it's been quite a popular spot lately, uh, as you can, I've seen on Instagram and stuff, and no people that have been here. Um, but yeah, absolutely come and do it if you can. Uh, grade wise, tricky for me to grade that because I haven't done much bouldering lately and that doesn't suit me that final uh, hard move so I would say probably 7A plus but equally I think someone could come along who's used to this style of climbing and just get on it and go yeah it's standard 7A kind of thing so I'm not really sure um, but yeah cheeky for me I thought 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I'm going to go home, edit some photos. The scenery this morning on the drive down here was absolutely stunning. Often when you're driving down Gwynant from sort of Clamberry side, uh, it's beautiful. The, the lake uh, is dead still, all the reflections, a bit of mist hanging around, it's amazing. Uh, and thankfully, usually I'm working so I don't have the time to stop, but today it was nice just to stop and get the drone out and take a few photos on the camera as well. It was lush. Um, but thanks for watching this video. More probably instructional videos coming up very soon. Thank you.